We, uh, Ryan and I were just talking at the top of the show, the anticipation for this season, but there was a, a, a similar feeling heading into last year in, in just the way in which you have built and your team helped build this organization. Going back briefly to the postseason and just the finish of last year, what was it like for you this offseason reflecting on that, the players talking about unfinished business, but just having a context of what some of this pe the pieces of this group can start to do as you build towards your goal yeah I think it was refreshing and pretty cathartic for me if I'm being fully transparent hearing them say there's unfinished business yeah hearing them say look there's unfinished business we want to come back with there's a goal in mind here um, there was no time to feel sorry for ourselves there's no time to wish <laughs> forth, but um, you know we make a little bit light of it but at the end of the day you know you can control your own destiny so much you know it's how we prepare how the coaching staff prepare I think the coaching staff have done an amazing job already this summer I've seen them in the gym on a regular basis you know cutting up tape and, and really getting in there and, and uh, collaborating together it's about these guys spending time together and that's in essence why we're going to San Diego so get out of here eliminate distractions and just have this group together break bread together practice together get to know one another because there's a lot of new guys and a lot of new faces on this team as much as I think everyone's excited about you know the new faces the additions you brought in Sean probably the move that's going to be at the top of the ledger for Nets fans is the fact that Kevin Durant's Sign that extension and he's a member of this organization for the next five years what does it mean to you as the man putting this roster together to have him in the fold for these next five years I mean how much of a celebratory moment was that for you and, and your team um, well that's a, that's a big get without a doubt without a, not hearing that Kevin wanted to be part of this and really wanted to build something sustainable and systematic in in Brooklyn uh, is huge I can't put it that into words enough it, it helps knowing that hey look we know he's gonna be here for the foreseeable future we can build the pieces around him he can collaborate with us and you know and there's some more decisions we've got to go as well uh, on this but it's it's a it's a huge uh, addition for us as an organization as a bar of Brooklyn knowing that you know Kevin Durant is gonna be here and we can help build with him and partner with him. Sean, it's uh, amazing sitting here with you in Barclay Center, getting set for another season. Do you think back to, though, when you first came to Brooklyn and think about how far this organization has come? I mean, we're talking about Kevin Durant signing an extension, <laughs> the depth of this yeah. team, championship aspirations. Uh, just to think about where it was when you started to the point that it is right now. Yeah, I mean, honestly, Sarah, I don't personally sit around and think about what it looked like. And, uh, you know, I remember the first time I walked in here, and I was like, this is amazing. You know, I, I can't believe we get to build something here in this arena with this crowd. It's, it's going to be incredible. And, and you know, look, we're at the cusp of something here. We haven't achieved what we wanted. To, we're a long way from it. Um, so I, I don't want to sit here and go, oh, we've arrived, because we really haven't, you know. And we've got a long way to go, and as we saw last year, anything can happen. You know, this is another year where we're nobody's quite quite sure what it's going to look like you know you hope it's just back to 2018 2017 you know but again at the same time it may look a little different it may feel a little different um, just with some of the protocols that we'll be facing and you know we're gonna to have to stay flexible we've mentioned that the whole way we've always mentioned how our roster needs to stay flexible how we continue to build this over the past five six years but our approach to the season is going to have to be one of, you know, flexibility and make sure we can adapt, you know, because you never know what happens. One thing that we've heard, I think, Sean, we've heard it from you, we've heard it from Steve, we've heard it from so many people since he came here, was that the leadership of James Harden has really been off the charts. Uh, just for our audience, Sean, what kind of insight can you give to that aspect of James and how impactful he's been when it comes to, to being a leader with this team? Yeah, I, I didn't know James personally before, before he came on board here and, and seeing his presence every day in the gym you feel it you hear it and that's pretty unique when a guy has been you know just for instance this summer you know he's been off working out and then he when he comes back immediately you feel different there's a different presence in the gym there's a different atmosphere um, and that's his leadership trait that's his that's his style you know he's he's not afraid to mince words he'll tell you exactly how he's feeling you know he leads out there not only by example but giving direction as well
What about, this speaking of leadership, um, for Brooklyn Nets fans who uh, hope they watch the Olympics, were able to experience it, uh, those who have watched San Antonio excel, but Patty Mills, uh, I think we can look at the numbers and look at the stats, uh, but who he is as a player, as a person, and how you hope and believe that will transcend what we see just out of box score. Yeah, I, I'm obviously very fortunate. I've had the opportunity to, one, play with Patty yeah. at, the very, <laughs> at the very end of uh, my not so illustrious career, and then uh, at the start of where he was going a and then we obviously worked together in San Antonio as well so I've known Patty on and off the court for a very long time very fortunate that I know what he brings we all see what he brings on the court which is spectacular you know he's lightning in a bottle you, you, you know he, he can change a game change the momentum of a game his energy it's contagious but that's how he lives his life you know and he, he's a guy I think the more that whether it's the media the his teammates the staff or even you know Brooklynites get a sense of who he is and get a sense of you know he's a man of the people he will be out he'll be in the streets and uh, you know and you'll see him in the coffee shops you'll see him walking around I mean those are some unique traits mm. and I think that's the piece that makes Patty special he is a true culture driver you've talked about how last year you know you guys didn't get an opportunity to see James Kyrie Kevin on the floor together a ton um, and obviously because of injuries and the importance of that right them finding a rhythm but obviously we also know health is really important and being at your best at the biggest time of the year how do you expect as an organization organization you guys are going to balance kind of letting those guys find their rhythm but also making sure they're rested for playoff time knowing that yeah. they're also guys who don't like to sit out and who want to play big minutes. Yeah, yeah it's, it's very tricky, you know. Um, I think a lot of times we, we use the terms we're, we're trying to save them from themselves. You know, they want to play every minute of every game when they get out here. And, and to be quite frank, all our guys do. Our guys, it's a competitive group, which you love to see. You'd rather sort of rein them back in than have to say, hey, guys, come on, you yeah. can go do this, right? So um, they're going to lead from that from that piece to it but you know I think it's it's one of education we're educating them long season you know it's a very short off season this is two off seasons in a row that are very very short here so you know we're just there's a cumulative load that's going into the season and we're educating them on how they're feeling and how their bodies are our performance team has done a great job with all these guys all summer long so um, you know we'll, it, it'll be a ramp up it, you know it won't be 40 minutes a night from from the get-go but we'll see how it goes <laughs> well Sean we appreciate uh, all the time here uh, today. I think you got. I think you got a, a Blake, comedian Blake's, behind Blake's behind you over there. Yeah. <laughs> he's doing got, stand up right after this. Is yeah, that correct? That is correct. He's doing stand up the yeah. entire time yeah, when so he sits down with us. Exactly. You see how I'm impatient. He, he wants his shot, and like, he's annoyed that I'm talking. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. He knows he's up next. Sean, thank you so much, and good luck this season. We can't wait to watch you guys. Pleasure. Thanks for having me, guys. Thanks, Sean.